Hey, so I wanted to talk a little bit more about my adventures on this uh, Tektronix 514 that I've been uh, trying to overhaul. So I've gone ahead and uh, and tested a bunch of these caps for value and leakage. Um, these these three cans right here were actually successfully reformed, which I've covered on a, another video. Uh, these two here were actually uh, restuffed, and I will show that in more detail later. Uh, so there's actually there there are new uh, there's a new capacitor inside the the uh, the body of, of an old capacitor. Um, did that a couple of weeks ago. So uh, I've lifted a bunch of the you can see I've lifted one side of a of a bunch of these caps. These bumblebees and this black beauty they're they're bad. They're just they're they're leaky. Uh, the values are wrong. Um, they're just bad. Uh, oh, this uh, this electrolytic I was actually able to reform successfully. So, uh, you know, sometimes it would be okay if these were just like little decoupling caps. Um, these, uh, and depending on the voltage of the circuit, uh, a 50, leak, leakage of 50 volts may be okay. In this case, this is all in the, uh, the high voltage supply, so it's emphatically not okay that a 3,000 volt DC capacitor uh, you can see there is uh, is leaking. Um, I'll just show you quickly on the schematic. So these caps over here, which are bad, are actually uh, are these caps over here. This is uh, this is the voltage divider to the feedback circuit in the uh, in the high voltage power supply. So uh, so that that is that's bad. Um, Best case, this just won't work, and worst case, uh, there may be some damage. So, so we're not going to fire that up. We're going to replace these caps. Um, this one over here, uh, V215. Uh, this, sorry, this one over here is, uh, is I think this one over here. So if that's, you know what, we're we're, we're going to replace that too. So. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for more. Um, I'll get this thing working eventually. So I wanted to show you these uh, these capacitors that I restuffed. Uh, I've got some photos that I'll include in the video as well. But uh, these are these are these have been put back in place, and these were actually easy because there's a uh, there's this cardboard sleeve that uh, that goes over the aluminum can. So so under that cardboard sleeve, it looks like a can like this, which meant that. I was able to cut uh, cut the can off and didn't have to and didn't have to reattach to the top of the can because it's by right. so can you see in there? Yeah, you can sort of see there is uh, there's the bottom of the can with uh, with the new capacitor in it. Um, I'll include some photos that I that I that I took during the process. Uh, that's a lot more clear than this. So. Here is uh, here's an in process uh, in progress uh, restuffing job. I've, uh, I've I've cut the can apart with this uh, with this hacksaw, and then I went ahead and cleaned up the inside uh, of of the base. And made sort of a channel here that my hope is that this thing um, uh, that I can that, that, that this will just kind of stick in there and with a little bit of epoxy um, the seam will be mostly mostly uh, unnoticeable so we'll see how that goes I'm, st I'm, I'm waiting for the the right caps to uh, to stuff in this thing so. 